All right. <laughs> oh, man. Hi, my name's Micah, and I'm uh, just trying to do my first video log here, and it's been a really interesting ride. i am uh, set a goal for myself to start sharing who I am, what I do through a video format, and this is my first attempt at that. And so far tonight, it's been lots of retakes, takes, me trying to figure out how to use Final Cut Pro or iMovie. Um, not really my strength and skill set. I actually typically work as a backcountry guide or a therapist here in Boulder, Colorado. And this is just a way for me to share with all of you what I've been interested in beyond just the the therapy work that I'm doing or also to highlight some other projects. Um, so this is take one. Well, probably more like take 50 here tonight, but I'm going to run with this one and I really hope you all like it. If you would please press subscribe here. This is the Restorative Adventures page. This is a company my fiance and I started uh, maybe six or seven years ago when we were living in Bellingham, Washington. And we've been offering deep nature connection, mentoring, therapy, uh, guide work, nonviolent communication camps. It's been, it's been a really fun journey. And a couple, about a year and a half ago, we moved out to Boulder, Colorado for myself to complete a degree in wilderness therapy and her to finish a degree in uh, somatic counseling. We moved out here with our two dogs, and we actually uh, were lucky enough to get engaged in Washington before we moved here. So since we've been living here, we've made a lot of new friends and thankfully still stayed connected with some old friends back in Washington. And yeah, it's been really fun. So I wanted to share a little bit about what's been on my mind, what I've been doing. And for the past couple weeks, I find that I've been ruminating on a quote I heard listening to a Tim Ferriss podcast. If you're not familiar with him, it's kind of a life hack hacking guy, wrote author of the four hour fitness. And he was interviewing someone and they were sharing this idea that they don't want to be understood necessarily, but they just don't want to be misunderstood. So I think the quote was, you know, as I've gotten older, I realize that it's more important for me not to be misunderstood than it is for me to be understood. And this is something I've been thinking a lot about as I've just got off a great weekend with both my with my family and Bonnie's family up in the mountains celebrating her 31st birthday. But I'm, I started to realize that a lot of the moments of tension and stress that showed up in our family actually kind of showed up around that. One person says something and the other person assumes it means one thing or the other when in fact it doesn't. Um, and just also realizing that when you take the time to stop and ask a question, that can help bring a lot of clarity and connection. So I know that for me, I get a little triggered or annoyed or activated when people misunderstand me and continue going on on a conversation. So that's been one edge I've been working with. Um, we've got a couple really cool projects I want to tell you about a little bit. Um, I think they're listed on my website, micashancer.com, which will be transitioning shortly to restorative adventures. Um, Right now I'm working with Family Heart Camp and Gregory Roulard and Jen Bouvet, Geneviève Keller and Lisa, sorry, I don't remember your last name, to bring a Family Heart Camp to Colorado. It looks like we'll have a one big circle weekend here coming up in the spring or summer. Then the following year we'll have a full weekend week camp. Um, in the process right now of buying a new tiny house office. It's gonna be about nine by eight square feet and it's going to be really cool. I'll be able to tow it with my Subaru, and we'll be able to offer neuro and biofeedback there, as well as counseling sessions, and just use it as a base camp for a lot of our backcountry adventures. So that's some really little overview of some of the new business projects I've got working on through Restorative Adventures. There's a couple more I'll tell you about next time, but those are the ones that are just really exciting, and I find myself sitting in a lot of meetings and getting ready to, to launch. Um, and then this is something I haven't told a lot of people yet. Um, three of my really close friends and I, we've decided to ride the Colorado Trail this summer. For you who are not familiar, that's a 500 mile trail that runs from Denver to Durango, ranging from, I believe it's 5,000 feet to about 
10 or 11,000 feet. It's 500 miles of trail, 80,000 vertical feet of climbing. We're going to do it on our six inch mountain bikes with uh, custom bike packs. Thanks to our good friend Joe over at JPAX. Actually just got off a great phone call with him and he's been generous enough with his time to help us design custom bags that will go on our seat because a lot of us have dropper posts, which is a, a technology that helps you have a little more fun on a mountain bike. So when you're going up, you have the right seat height for efficiency, but you press a button and your seat goes to a lower height and that allows you to have a bit more of a nimble, playful bike. So he's allowing us to basically carry all the gear we need, but still ride really fun all mountain mountain bikes as opposed to the traditional cross country 29er um, backpacking or bike packing bikes, which are still a lot of fun, but for us a little more free ride gravity or gravity oriented riders, really grateful Joe and uh, can't wait to test your products out on white trail in March. So um, and in doing that, I've been working at the Alpine Training Center, training two to three days a week with Connie, and uh, that's been a real butt kicker. I've gotten a little out of shape since, really since high school, and then after having a couple back injuries and other minor injuries, I've been uh, basically just getting more, oh, I don't know what the right word is. I guess a little heavier around the midsection, but never too out of shape, and she's really helping me get back to being more of like a bulletproof athlete that can actually go all day and then be able to recover. So I've been training with her and I've got my first bike race coming up this week that I've done, gosh, since high school. And uh, I guess a little bit in college, but really feels first mountain bike race since high school and be doing 44 miles. It should be take about three or four hours with a group of a little unsanctioned race here up in Boulder. I'll let you know how it goes next week when I update you and I just wanted to mention that I'm starting a podcast, and that podcast is basically, I think I'm going to call it The Micah Show. I'm curious to hear what you think about that. But uh, the podcast is going to be me interviewing some of the influential people in my life and basically having conversations with them about how they've lived their lives, what's made them feel successful, what, they, what do they describe or define as successful, how do they have meaning, how do they um, connect with people. And for those of you who don't know, I have a little hunting project that I do with my friend Dean Wall. This is our logo, uh, Sacred Hunting. So one of the themes that we'll be looking at is hunting and deep nature connection. Another one is adventure as well as fitness and um, kind of conservation actually falls between those two. I think both adventurers and also hunters have a lot of uh, skin in the game and desire to actually have more conservation of our land, really of the earth. Um, and then the final topic is really it's therapy, but it's also a blend of life hacking and biohacking and how to live meaningful, a little bit of skills. So that'll be, for I think the first interview of that category will be our good friend Robert Bellows over at Warrior Story Field. For the adventure, we're going to start with our friend Ben Day, who, uh, is our landlord and professional cyclist and coach. We'll be talking about fitness, supplements, training, recovery, and for hunting, we look forward to a great talk with our friend Dean Wall up in Canada to talk about what a sacred hunt is. So if you're interested in that, press the subscribe button here on Restorative Adventures, and I hope to see you all soon.